that boarding pass to board, and it will Where print out going? your seat when you come through. Thank you. Yeah. Why are you smiling so big? Because I'm happy. How do you define greatness? Will you recognize it when you see it, or let it pass you by? For my son, greatness is the Minnesota Golden Gophers. He suffers from seizures, and so does their coach. This one. This one. Coach said, if you visit, stop on by. There was just one problem. A Buckeye fan right next to us. O-H-I-O. I think it's Sky-U-Ma. Sky-U-Ma. It is. <laughs> Billy calls the team family because of his connection to coach. We didn't know what to expect. We're told just to show up. Give a kid some confidence and oh boy does he take off. He's never met a stranger he didn't like. Hey, stick your hand out for some high fives. His eyes lit up when he saw the team, and the players gravitated toward him. The players gave him five. He grinned from ear to ear. Some even hugged him. And then it was time to meet Coach. It was like they had always been best buddies. <laughs> Did all right. Look at this. Wow, is that for me? That, well, yes, yes it is. See what it says, you're my idol, Coach Kill. How about that? Is it cool? You can't get any better than that, can you? What do you think? There you go. You look pretty good in that. <laughs> you got hair, I don't. <laughs> Did y'all have a good trip? We did. Yeah, there, there you go. go. What's our saying? He even gave the coach Minnesota's famous what, cheer, what Sky, Sky U Ma. U Ma. There you go. Sky U Ma. <laughs> Sky U Ma. There you Sky go. Sky U Ma. Get that helmet on. <laughs> Get out there. You got more rhythm than I got, I can tell you that. I meant go Gophers. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but his horseplay caught the attention of law enforcement. Right. Billy, <laughs> Billy got in trouble here. All right, no. he, he was causing problems. <laughs> he was causing get problems. Ten years, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe they'll lose the key. Coach had another surprise. If Billy considered him family, he did too. Come to the locker room before the game, he said. And then Billy spotted his favorite player, David Cobb. The two of them hammed it up, and something awesome happened. You ready for the game? Yeah. I think that's for luck, right? Yep. He, 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 rubbed, he rubbed Coach's head last night. That's just like what I did. Stay warm. You stay warm. Tell him the score two touchdowns for you. It's like a movie. Yep, tell him. <laughs> he marched out to the field and then danced. He played catch with the Big Ten's best punter. He even had some pointers. There was still football to be had, but to be honest, for Billy, the football was secondary. His buddy David Cobb didn't just score two touchdowns on this day. 
he ended up with three. In the end, the Gophers lost 31 to 24, but that was a moot point to us. We had a mantra this weekend, and that was that no seizure would rob Billy of these memories. Mission accomplished.